Okay, so most businesses have a presence on multiple social media platforms. They may be using Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. And in order to help them manage their social media and plan out what they're going to um, post over a month, they're using Excel spreadsheets, which is a really, really time consuming way for them to plan out your social media. So the, the brilliant alternative to that is Content Cal. The Content Cal, um, I'll just show you the pricing first. There is a free version, but um, it doesn't have very many features. It's really just one calendar for one person. It would be okay for a business who um, never plans to have anybody else. It's one person in the business working all the time. They never plan on anybody else helping them. Um, and so the free account would, would really suit just somebody who is completely on their own and never really plan to grow as a business. Whereas um, the other packages have more features and more calendars, which allow you to create um, planning templates for different uh, businesses if you may have a couple of different um, niches or everything that you're working on. So those are the content called pricing plans. And so to go into those content tile, we have our very own organized office login. So we go to our login page and we pop in our login details. And this will take you into our dashboard. So when you go in, you will see the calendar view. And this is a social media calendar. It, this one is for us, organized office. But if you hit the drop down, you can select a customer's calendar. You can view it by month or you can view it by week. And then there's um, different drop downs for filtering out what you want to see and for the different actions that you want to do on that calendar. There is calendar view, there's editor view, which if you select editor view and there was something on here that needed to be approved, it would show in here. Um, select the role of editor. And if we go into the TRG, there you can see. So that's what it would look like for the customer. So they get this um, notification email to say, that um, social media posts are there ready, waiting for approval and they either select approve or they select decline or they can click on the post and at the very bottom of the post they can pop in a note there if they want us to change anything or um, if they have any comments that they want us to be aware of and once they put a note in here it's emailed to us and it's also there's a trace here as well and if we respond to the email it'll also appear here um, so with um, the calendars you can not only organize your social media you can organize all of your marketing so if you plan on having a blog and having a um, so a blog that needs to be kept updated, updated on your website you want to use email marketing you want to have a presence on so many different social media platforms you can plan all of that through content cal so if I show you one of the calendars, I'll show you ours actually. If I go into um, here and I go into week view, you can see that we have Facebook, Twitter, we don't have Instagram, um, LinkedIn, YouTube, and then this could be if we wanted to um, plan out our blogging or our email marketing. And this, what this essentially allows you to do is plan in advance exactly what you're going to do in your marketing over a month, which for businesses is fantastic. It lets them know that, okay, on Monday the 12th, I'm going to send out a, an email to my list. On Tuesday, I'm going to focus on um, putting something of value out to my Facebook following. On Wednesday, I'm going to shoot and record a YouTube video. And it just really allows for that online planning. But when it's planned online, if it's planned in a spreadsheet, then you need to go 
back from your spreadsheet and put everything in. So you're basically duplicating your workload. Whereas when you plan it all out in here, once you have it ready to go, you just click a button and it's ready to be published. So to create a post, you would just sit, click on the channel that you want to post to. Um, and this would be the text on your post. So you pop it all in there. The time and the date that you want your post to go live and any images or videos that you want to put on. If I was to put on um, a link to a YouTube video in the post here, it will also appear here in the media section. And then I can delete the link in the post and the media section will still show the video, which is quite, um, quite good because sometimes you don't want the link to actually be shown in your social media text. Um, so once you have it all planned out, when you want it to go live, what time you want it to go live at, all the information is populated, you would just hit schedule. To, if we were working on a customer's calendar, so let's go to Total Rebuild Gym. If we were working on their calendar and we wanted to um, send out uh, the week's posts for the client to approve, you would just go to actions and select for approval. You would select the, the item or the post that you want to the, the customer to review, or you would select a whole week and you would send that for approval. So we just hit send for approval. The customer gets an email to let them know that there's items that need to be approved for their social media. And it, the, the importance of that is that a lot of our customers, they want somebody to help them with their social media, but they don't want to lose control of what is being put on their social media. So this fills that gap perfectly. It lets other people create the media, um, and then it lets the customer have the final say. I uh, also want to show you here um, backlog posts. So if you want to create a post, but you're not ready for it to go out just yet, but um, you think it's a really good idea, you don't want to forget about it. So you can basically just put it in your backlog so you know that you can use it again later on in the future. Uh, you can also, if you were to go into a social media post, you can reuse your post. So if you posted something before and you find that it was actually really well received and you want to post that again at a later date, you just select reuse post. Um, in terms of adding new calendars, it's simple. You just click add new calendar or if you want to put up a new user, you can do that. To manage connections, you simply click on here, select the um, customer that you want to um, link up and then you just hit connect um, and put in their their Facebook details or their Instagram details, whatever it is, and then you hit confirm. That's how easy it is. It's actually a really simple and easy system to use. Um, another thing to show you is uh, setting up teams. So for us in organized office, we will always work with one member of staff from our client's business to allow them to be the approval editor. Um, so we would always have team members within our content pal um, and we can go in and edit those. Uh, we can change them at any time. We can change their role to give them a bit more so that they can see a bit more or say a bit less. And um, we always make sure that they only have access to the calendars related to their business. And we can also um, push notifications to them or if they find that they're getting too many notifications, we can pull that back a little bit as well. The last thing to show you is if you're actually wanting to set up a new calendar or edit an existing one, you can give the calendar a name, you can connect it to its social media platforms, and you can add these channels into your, um, your settings. This here area is where you can add all the different elements for them to plan. So if they want, if they have a blog and they want to plan their blog posts on Content Cal, they can as well, or they have email, whatever um, it is that they want to plan by selecting the tick box, it'll show it on their calendar and then it just allows them to plan that. Um, and again, planning the content calendar in advance allows them to make sure that they're not, you know, overwhelming people with so many posts and, you know, sending people the same thing over and over again, or, you know, just putting something on Facebook and then putting it out to all the other channels. And so people are getting flooded with the same message. 
it just really allows for their social media to be managed in a really um, well thought out way without having any duplication later, later on because using the spreadsheets is really, really time consuming. And then once they have planned out all their media that took them a couple of hours to do, they then have to go onto the social media platforms and put it all together. This eliminates that problem. It allows people to still plan out their content, but it also allows um, them that when the content's ready to go, it's a click of a button and it's done. You don't have to be um, duplicating that workload as well.